Hi, my name is Austin White, and today I will be sharing with you my project, Apple Picker. This project is very interesting because you have to pick up the apples as they fall off the tree. So you can see me doing these, picking them up. And when one falls, I only have two lives left. And another one falls, I have one life left. And when the last one falls, I die. And I can select play again. And restarts the game. Now, um, the, this is my main camera. And you can, uh, that's how you can see the game. And directional light is how you can also see the game. And this is my apple tree. My apple tree is the most, the main part of my game because it's an apple picker tree, kind of. And I have the trunk and the leaves attached to the, to the apple tree. And I have my cubes. I have my canvas, which is has um the high score so you can see the score right here at the top right corner you can see the score counter which is at the top left corner which is up here and then uh, when it says game over it says oh uh, this this play again button and that that's mostly it attached to my game the really interesting part of my game is the scripts, C, C Shark scripts. And for this script, it is the uh, the apple script. So when the apples fall and I get to pick them up, um, this method is an if statement, and this is destroy. So you would destroy the apple and when you pick it up or when you touch it with the basket that one is uh took a little bit this one this c shark script is called apple pickers and this script has a lot of code in it it's the bat um to pick up the apples the for the basket to move for it's like a main the main script but you need all the scripts to for the game to work and there's a the game over button is right here in the private void awake method and this is the start method and it has basket list and all that and that um statements and stuff and this is the uh, void update method. And I have nothing in that method because you, I didn't really need it in this code. And then here's my public void method, destroy apples. So I will destroy apple. And this is my baskets and the speeds of the apples, how fast they go and all that. The apple uh, speed of the apple tree, how fast it goes, and this basket, C shark script, and uh, the using methods, Unity engine methods, uh, pu public classroom methods in this one, it morning behavior, uh, void start has this method in it, which uh, makes the score go up whenever you get an apple. And vector three and uh, void update. Those are very important grips. If we didn't have that, any of that, the entire game wouldn't work. And my private void 
methods, uh, the game objects, destroy colliders, um, the scores, plus one if I um, get an apple, and then the high score when I get the highest amount of apples uh, they would, it, when I log out of my game and come back in, it would still have my high score. And the speed of the apple tree and the second be, seconds between drops. Um, the speed is really good. And um, so when it hits, when it hits, a score of 50, it will go 60 speed, and it would, seconds between drops would be 0 0.6, and it would, for 30, it's speed of 40, and drops of 0 0.7, score of 20 would be 30 speed with 0 0.8 drops per second, so when it drops the apple, and Score of 10 equals 20 speed, and it, seconds between drops would be 0 0.9. And this is my high score um, CSARC script. And this one, <clears throat> um, this is our the private void awake method. So... This also like makes the high score stay when you leave the game and come back in. Don't have anything in the void start update method. In the void update method, like how it makes the text change whenever you get enough apples. And finally, for our last, my last CSR script, is apple tree apple tree is big very big because it's the main script and a uh, pub public object and all that void uh, in void like drops apples so when it drops in apples drop apple um so Again, when it drops apples, and and like the value of speed and stuff, and the transform positions, what position it should be at, and that's it for my Unity project.